Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to learn about how to add three and four digit numbers together. Now the good news is if you just watched the previous section of the course and you know how to add one and two digit numbers together, then this, even though it looks harder, is not going to be really hard because it's the same rules. There's nothing new here. The only difference is that the numbers are going to look a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and do some problems and I'll show you how to add three and four digit numbers together. What if you had the number 124 plus 38? Now I'll admit to you that this problem looks a lot more complicated than the ones that we were doing in the last section, but I'm going to show you now that it really isn't. Okay? Same thing. Let's go ahead and write the numbers on top of each other, and we want to put the bigger number on top. 124 has more digits, so it goes on the top. 38, we're just going to write it like this, and just like before, we're going to push it over to the right so it lines up with the, with the right-hand column. Okay, now the same exact rules apply. Start in the right-hand column and add these two things together. 8 plus 4 gives you 12, and if you need to use your fingers for that, that's fine. You can start with 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we added 4 to it, we got 12. But 12 is um, two digits, so we can't just write numbers that are two digits down here. So we put the 2 down, okay? And we have to put that 1 somewhere, because after all, we're trying to write 12 down. We're going to put the 1 up here in the column over to the left, okay? So it's the same thing as before. Now we add this column. 1 plus 2 gives me 3. 3 plus 3 gives me 6. So I put 6 down here. So all you're doing is adding these numbers here. Again, 1 plus 2 is 3. So that's these two. And then 3 plus another 3 gives me 6. Okay, and I just write it down in that column. Now I'm done with that. Now I just move to the left and say 1 plus 0, just like before, gives me 1. So the answer is 162. It looks like a harder problem, but it really isn't. There's just one more column to deal with. And, uh, and it's the same rules as before. Okay? What if you had 210 plus 106, okay? Well, what you want to do is write these on top of each other, 210 and 106 on top of each other, and put a plus sign, okay? And it's the same thing as before. We're going to start on the right-hand column. 6 plus 0 is really easy because that just gives you 6. Anything plus 0, anything plus nothing is just going to give you itself back, okay? So 6 plus 0 gives you 6. And look here, we have in the next column 1 plus 0. Again, it's just going to give you 1 because anything plus a 0 is just going to give you itself back. And we're done with that. And then we move to this column. 2 plus 1 is just going to give us 3. So the answer is 316. So you can see this problem looks a whole lot more complicated than the problems in the last section. It looks a lot more complicated, but once you know how to do it, it doesn't become that complicated. And that is what I'm going to be teaching you throughout the whole um, course here, is that things that seem complicated really aren't. Okay? So what if you had 378 plus 219? Okay? Again, looks more complicated, but all we're going to do is we're going to write these numbers on top of each other. 378 and then 219 and we're going to add them up, okay? 